So let's go in and meet the horses. That's what we're doing. Okay. I can almost smell the horses already. And now I smell food. We don't call them sunrise tours for nothing. The sun just rose. Let's go look at it. Oh, there's the track. First time in my life I'm seeing this in person. Is that a horse that we know? Got to embark on our tour. That's a use this year. Back in the clubhouse. Gotcha, no flash pictures. Pimlico, built in 1870. The first horse to win a race here in the 1800s was named Preakness. That's how this race got its name. History from your frog. On the outside now, heading for somewhere. A fun morning at Pimlico. Another stakes barn. Guess they need a couple. Um, and he, uh, his, his sire used to be based out of Hartford County, Malibu Moon. He's now in, based in Kentucky, but the owners, previous owners still own a quarter stake in him. You are cute. Look at that face. Look at me. Wait, stop. Oh, my face is taken. I think they're on next to spot. People say Scott. She's like, nope. Oh, you left Scott. I'm going to Kentucky Dirt. Someone's getting a bath. Or it's getting bathed. Stop it. Get out. Maybe. Is it right to stay? Dan, dancing Mike. Handsome. Handsome Mike. That's the horse. Now hopefully you'll see some Clydesdales. All right, we're going to see Clydesdales. Are you done? Are you done? we're seeing something else first. Use the horses. Yeah. Very light. Today we they gotta be light for the horse to run, I guess. These shoes come pretty much pre-made, and it's the circumference of the circle, less the width of the horse's heels, and they come in quarter-inch sizes from uh, twos to nines. Now for the Clyde Stales. McLeodsdale there for you. On the 40th anniversary of Secretariat's win. Post Farm Clydesdales, we're locally right here in the state of Maryland. We come to you from St. Mary's County, about two and a half hours south of here. 
what you see here right now, what we've got going on, we've been in a little bit of workout this morning by just walking them around and letting them stretch their legs. And now our groomer's in here um, cleaning them up a little bit from being in the stalls. These horses weigh anywhere from 1,800 to 2,100 pounds. They're anywhere from 17.3 to 18.2 in height. Um, they consume anywhere from 12 to 15 pounds of grain per day, 20 to 30 pounds of hay, and anywhere from 30 to 60 gallons of water. The white part on their legs we refer to as their feathers. That's one of the mode, known facts about Clydesdales is that you see all the feathering. You know, most people when they see that feathering, they think Clydesdales. Yes, they are Clydesdales. The leather part on their feet right now is what we call leather spats. And what it does is helps protect those feathers as they're standing in the stalls because their shoes are about the size of a dinner plate. And they sit there and rub on their feet because they're standing there uh, looking through the holes as, as they watch us go by with hay and everything else. Um, if you look at the picture behind you on the trailer, I'll explain what we've got here. We've got a six horse stitch in tandem. The two horses closest to the wagon we refer to as our wheel horses are the ones that start the load and pull the wagon with most of the weight. The next two in the middle are called our swing team, and then the two in the very front are called our leaders. The leaders are usually your youngest horses. These two out right here are, are our leaders. A three-year-old on the far side and a four-year-old here on, the, on my left. And our horses are still shedding out right now. They're winter coats. That's what he's getting out right now. Is each day we try to work a little bit more and more of that out. Winter coats shedding. All right, follow me, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your day. All right. Thank you. Onward. I'd stay up behind. There's a lot to these grounds here, but I'm like, oh, walking around here now, I feel like I'm in the middle of nowhere. This does not feel like Baltimore City at all. This is one huge complex. I think we're going back in. back in but I'm lost. Okay, back where we began. We're by the, the bedding booths. We're going back out to the track. Back to the track. I like that term. What do we have here? Oh, there are stalls, okay. The horse stalls for the races. Sun's up for sure. As we enter the winner's circle. This is the winner's circle, where your bullfrog hopes to be one day. I ride horses, I will race them though. Continuing on again. We're going somewhere. Oh, over there. Experience race horses. Um, These folks horses. rescue horses. Yeah, now. We like to do different things with them. Um, this is me at a racing clinic on my horse. So we kind of went back to the racing for a little bit. Um, 
And then here are some showing Nancy Anastasia on her horse Pride. Um, and this is Elizabeth Scully's new horse, race horse she got, Girls Rule the World. And so she just, yeah, she just got her and she's really excited about that. Um, they're not the stereotypical, you know, mean race horse. Once you give them that time and it's a lot of patience that goes into these horses because they're used to just run, run, run. And you just gotta let them take a deep breath and say, I don't have to be first all the time. So, and once they're, they're normally, they, it's really a quick transition, but we do give them that time just to make sure they're nice and settled in. But if you've never been here, this place is huge, like an airport. Let's go back out, see if any horses are practicing. Tomorrow's the big day. What do horses and trains have in common? They both run on the track. Don't know all their names, but there they are. And a couple more, you'll see tomorrow. Hi. Hi. And a couple more. Wish I knew which one was Orb. And some more. But who they are, I couldn't tell you. Enough of horses yet. Impressive. Big place, though. Now we have a higher vantage point from the grandstand. The sun's kind of bright in front of me. Hard for me to keep the camera on the horse. Just crossed the finish line, but they're running the opposite direction. Makes horse sense to me. That one there was grunting like a steam locomotive.
and those things and trains both run on tracks. That's what I really call a run by. Whatever they call it in horse racing. A gallop by, whatever. I'm back on the first floor. A lot of fun here at Pimlico on Preakness Friday. One huge place. Down here is where the girls are. Get the t-shirt. And again, down there are the bedding windows. Concessions. But at five bucks a beer, I'll stay thirsty. And about to head on out. So, hope you enjoyed your tour of Old Hilltop. See you with the Preakness.